It's just another beautiful day at the farm. Or is it? In this apparently peaceful field, strawberries are fighting for survival against disease. One of the most destructive diseases threatening strawberries is gray mold. Gray mold is that fuzzy gray fungus you've probably seen on strawberries left on the counter too long. The fuzzy growth is actually millions of microscopic tree-like structures covered with spores. How can we prevent botrytis from infecting healthy strawberries? By knowing where it comes from, how it spreads, and when it infects. Where does gray mold come from? Infectious spores of the fungus, called inoculum, come from several sources. First of all, other crops can develop gray mold and spread the disease to nearby strawberry plants. Spores can also be produced on weeds that linger in and around fields all year long. Decaying strawberry plants from the previous year form the perfect habitat for the fungus to last through the winter. On these plants, or in the soil, hardened fungal structures called sclerotia form and are able to withstand cold winter temperatures. These can survive and release spores next season. Botrytis often enters the field through infected nursery stock, remaining invisible until after plants are in the ground and conditions are favorable for infection. Another major source of gray mold spores is decaying plant tissue in the soil, particularly infected berries left between rows during harvest. So now that we've seen where gray mold comes from, how does it spread? Millions of microscopic botrytis spores, called conidia, blow or are splashed onto susceptible blossom tissue in the spring. Botrytis spores are a bit like mosquitoes. They love moisture. Because of this, flower infections mainly occur when plants stay wet for at least 13 hours. That's a long time, but it happens more often than you might think. Long rainstorms or overcast humid conditions after light rain often keep plants moist for even more than 13 hours. Infected blossoms may die and become spore production factories. But more often, infections remain invisible until fruit matures and favorable conditions occur. These conditions include rain, high humidity, and temperatures between 63 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Fruit rot symptoms typically appear near the stem, where moisture is trapped between fruit petals and ripening fruit. The fungus then grows and spreads until it covers the entire berry. Diseased fruit produce millions of spores that travel to blossoms and other fruit, a continuing cycle that lasts throughout the strawberry season. So how can we manage gray mold? Because most infections occur during bloom when spores spread to blossoms, we should attack these sources of infection. Fungicide applications during bloom kill spores and prevent them from infecting blossoms. Eventually, the fungus recovers and again produces spores. Controlling botrytis infections in nearby crops, as well as the strawberry field, can also minimize infection risk. Removing decaying plants from the field and burying them may help as well. Weed control at the beginning of the season can decrease inoculum. Obtaining clean planting stock is difficult since nurseries cannot produce in a vacuum. But spreading out risk by using several different reputable suppliers may be a good idea. Fumigation destroys spores that may still be present in the soil. Since disease does not usually appear until rainy conditions leave moisture on plants, fungicides applied and left to dry before a rainstorm 
are most effective to kill spores before they can damage fruit. Finally, removing rotten berries and burying them at a location outside the field, instead of leaving them between rows during harvest, helps decrease infection risk. Don't forget that each diseased berry can produce millions of spores that spread botrytis. It's not possible to completely eradicate botrytis, but it is possible to reduce the risk of infection with the management methods discussed. Now that we know a little more about gray mold, we can better enable strawberries to fight this destructive fungus so that we can continue to enjoy strawberries in years to come.